I draw my inspiration from all kinds of people that I've met. And one of the most inspiring groups of people that I met was back in the beginning of 2008. I went on a trip to India. And there I met a bunch of women who were changing the lives of all the people around them in their villages. And what they were doing was they were bringing water to their villages. Now, they were doing this in a number of ways. They were doing it by being in positions of power, very unlikely positions of power. They were, they were put into those positions of power because the government stated that women must be in a position of power. But the particular women that were chosen were chosen divisively because they were the most illiterate and lowest caste women of the village. Now they were put into those positions to abide by the law. There was no way that anybody could have imagined what those women would have achieved, could have achieved. And to be there first hand and meet those women was, was incredible to me and really, really inspiring. Because talking to one of the women, she said to me, through an interpreter, because this woman had never left her village. Ever since she was married, she had lived in the village of her husband. And she'd never left that village. But through an interpreter, she said to me, I don't need to be able to read. I don't need to be able to write to know that my village needs water. I don't need to be able to read and write to know that my children need educating. And as a result of her being put into power, she was able to change things in her village. And through the great work of the Hunger Project, uh, the, empower the empowerment programs for women there, they are able to bring law, order, electricity, water and education to their villages. And that was really, really inspiring to me. Far from being the problem, women are the solution.